Hi everyone, this is Koryu from Manga Gamer, the translator who has worked on Maggot Baits. And today I'd like to talk to you all about an aspect of Maggot Baits that is easily overlooked at first glance. Uh, namely the fact that underneath all of the violence, gore, and repulsive brutality, this title is still very much a pure love story centered around the two main protagonists, Carol and Shogo. You might ask how so. So let's take a moment and look at what makes a title a true love story. In general, it is a tale of love overcoming all difficulties or a pair of lovers overcoming every difficulty together. Some might further say that to remain a pure love story, it's important that the couple in question stay true to each other or that the lovers be willing to sacrifice everything for each other or that the love ultimately leads them to salvation. In Maggot Baits, all of these are true for Carol and Shogo. From the very outset, there is actually some jealousy from the other witches working with Carol and Shogo because Carol is the one and only witch receiving her recharge and thus sex from Shogo. Throughout the entire game, there is no one else he has sex with while his mind remains his own. Uh, likewise, Carol too is an extreme oddity among witches. Not only does she never recharge with any man other than Shogo, but among all the witches featured in Maggot Bates, she is the only one who has waited seven years for Shogo's arrival to even manifest for the very first time. Even after Carol is captured and violated against her will, her thoughts constantly remain with Shogo. Carol's devotion to Shogo is also readily apparent even before she realizes her own love. She dedicates herself to being useful to him and she is willing to sacrifice her emotions to be his tool, to say nothing of her willingness to offer up her life in aid to him. In contrast, while Shogo at first seems more wholly devoted to his cause, which is his quest for vengeance and justice, uh, in the end, he ultimately still makes decisions that prove his love over guaranteeing his vengeance. As for their love bringing about salvation, well, it's important to remember that salvation does not always equate to survival. From the moment Shogo set out on his quest for vengeance, which marks the start of the story, he's already set himself on an irreversible path that ends in death one way or another. He's accepted that himself, and his main concern is fulfilling his goal before he perishes, even though that's never what brings him salvation. Uh, no, in both of the main roots of Maggot Bates, Shogo ultimately finds his salvation through Carol. Yet, how does this man, Shogo, a man who has cast aside everything, his life, his ideals, his humanity, all for the sake of vengeance, manage to find salvation in love? And how does a woman so wholly devoted to such a single-minded spirit of vengeance find her own salvation in his love? These are the questions that I hope you will keep in mind as you read through Maggot Bates because the answers to those questions will bring much more depth and enjoyment to the experience. Thank you for taking the time to listen to our video, and we hope you enjoy the game when it releases.